how to add a countdown timer to your Shopify store. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to tell you how you can add a countdown timer to your Shopify store. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, as you can see, I'm over here into my Shopify store and you're going to need to sign in as well. And we're going to straight ahead jump into the online store over here. As you can see, I'm over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and straight up jump into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into action. All right. This is the theme we're using the dawn theme and we're going to go into action and we're going to go ahead and click on edit code and it's going to go ahead and open up the code section over here and once we open up this is how it looks like so as you can see uh, i've opened up a bunch of different codes let me just close this up so as you can see this is how it looks like over here we have a bunch of different options we have layout we have templates we have sections we have snippets over here what we're going to do is we're going to close up all of this so that we have everything in front of us what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and into the snippet section over here and we're going to create a new snippet now what is a snippet so as you can see the names over here we have article we have collection notifications these are basically like actions for example notifications or stuff like that like over here on the website like as you can see as i hover around the images changes and there's an animation over here that's what it basically is so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new snippet so I accidentally closed the window uh, let me just open it up again okay so it's loaded up again all right we're good to go so now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new snippet and we're going to name it like this all right i'm going to click over here we're going to call it countdown timer and what you're going to do is you're going to write it exactly the same no capitalization of any letters no space over here anywhere we're just going to add this slash over here and that's it and we're going to click on create a snippet and that what that's going to do is it's going to create a snippet. Now what we're going to do is now we're going to put in some codes that it actually works. So over here, I have that code. Here we go. So over here, this is the code. And uh, don't worry, you won't have to like pause this video or copy everything or type it yourself. I'm going to tell you where you can find it at the end of the video. So be sure to stick around until the very end. We're going to tell you where you can get this code. So once it's done, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on save and the snippet is going to be saved and it's going to be done. We're going to find it over here. As you can see, countdown timer dot liquid. This is the timer. It's been created. Now what we're going to do is we're going to place it over here into different products, right? So now that we've done this, now we're going to move over to the second part. What we're now going to do is since we've created the snippet, now we're going to actually implement the snippet. What we're going to do is we're going to go over to templates or no, actually, we're going to go over to sections over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the product template over here. Uh, let me just find it. And then menu P page product recommendations main product template. I think it should be over here. Here we go. Main product. Is this it? I don't know. All right. So for some reason, I can't find it. So I'm. Um, I think maybe it's deleted so let me just try to get it back and i will catch you guys in a little bit okay so i forgot that i'm using the web 2.0 so for that i have to go into the main product right we don't have product template but if you have the product template the process is going to be the same okay so there's two ways to add the counter either you put the counter on every product or you put the countdown timer on a specific product. So what we're going to do is first, I'm going to show you how you can do it on all the products. And then we're going to show you how you can do it on specific products. So for now, I'm going to put another piece of code over here underneath the payment button over here, as you can see. And what we're going to do is over here, this was the button, the buy button. And then over here, this is the uh, payment button over here. And the timer is going to be over here underneath this one. So for this one, I have another piece of code, and this is very important. You have to have created the snippet beforehand. So this is the code, right? As you can see, this is the code, All right? I'm just going to, oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to add it over here, some spaces to make it look more pretty. You can add as much space as you want within the codes. It doesn't matter. And over here, this is the countdown timer, all right? This is the snippet. As I said before, the countdown timer. Make sure that the spelling of the snippet and the one over here is written the exact same. I don't want to, you know, get it confused. Okay, so once this is done, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on save. 
and now hopefully when we go into the website to view our products it's going to be there so i'm just going to go ahead and show you so if i click on these products then as you can see the timer is over here now since the date is off what we can do is once we have added the snippet over here the countdown timer what we can do is we can change the date as well so let me just go ahead and do it 2022 and today is march 9th so we can say like it's the date it'll end on march 31st all right so if i click on save and if it has been saved let me just go ahead and refresh it and here we go so as you can see now we have the special offer and it's changed to this date it'll end in 21 days now another thing that we can do is we can view other products to see if it is available over there as well so as you can see it's available on every item so this is how you basically do it on every item now what if you wanted to you know add it on specific products so for that what we're going to do is we're going to remove this template the timer as you can see if we remove it we're going to save it right as you can see it's saved let me see if it works on the website yeah it's completely gone now what we can do is we need to go ahead and create a new section so for that we need to click on add a new section and what should we call it we'll call it product countdown template remember guys keep the names similar you can name it whatever you want just make sure that you remember the name and you don't add any spaces or capitalize any words or whatsoever so after we create this section all right this is how it looks we're going to remove all of this code what we're going to do is we're going to go back into the main product right we're going to go ahead and copy all of this we're going to paste it over here we're going to click on save as you can see it's saved and now we're going to go ahead and add that snippet that we created earlier and we're going to paste it in here that way we can have two product templates the same so payments yeah okay this is the payment uh where is it okay over here so i'm gonna paste that code over here as well and once we're over here just simply paste it and there you go as you can see it's pasted so now let me just go ahead and add like a comment over here so that if we ever need to come back we can remember it we'll just say start timer and we'll just copy this one as you can see um no actually let me just go ahead and remove that it doesn't matter but we'll just find it anyway so yeah this is how it looks like right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and save right now one more thing that we need to do is we need to create a new template so we're gonna create a new template we're gonna go ahead and choose product choose liquid and we're gonna save and then we're gonna give it a name we're gonna call it product slash countdown slash template right this is a liquid oh, i forgot we should always keep it liquid product slash countdown slash template now what we're going to do is we're going to click on create template all right the template was created successfully and it's going to be empty all right nothing over here so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the main product and we're going to go ahead and copy this one we're going to paste it over here now what we're going to do is we're going to exchange a few lines so over here as you can see it says section main product right it's line number two so let me just find that real quick section all right yeah one minute main product dot css what we're going to do is we're going to change that to this one which is product countdown template so main product all right or should we just copy this one all right so we're gonna change this one section slash main product to product slash count down slash template dot css all right i think that's done now we just click on save all right line number 533 maybe now okay so for some reason it's not saving but uh you get the point okay so i don't think it's working i don't know why but uh, it generated, but there was no code in it. It should have a bunch of different codes, but uh, it doesn't. And I don't know why, but I think you understand how it works. Basically, what you're going to do next is if you create this, you can just go ahead and do it. 
but since it's not working another thing is we can go into the app store and we can find the sales counter timer bar it's pretty good I, I wouldn't say it's bad but the way we were trying to do it was our own so it was more unique and it would have worked but uh it didn't so which is pretty bummer i think it's because uh, they recently updated it all right because there was supposed to be a product template section over here as well they removed that and they combined it with main product dot liquid there was a separate section called product template in which we could do all of this which was very helpful but i think since they updated it i think just now when i created this website uh which is a bummer because it would have worked but now i have to find another way so thank you guys for watching i hope you guys found this video a little bit helpful and uh, if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that thank you guys for watching goodbye